Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of Battle Brothers Legends and PTR mods as the Peasant Militia. So last time we came all the way down to Muk Tarhin and did some arena fights to sort of end the episode with, and we also got to meet some of our new strange friends that have joined the group. Looking right at you, Sky Splitter, as well as, you know, a few people who have also joined in the last few episodes. I think this episode I'm going to do a few arena fighting fight stuff and also contracts down here just to start us off with we're in a pretty good position for money and all that jazz in terms of how do they actually think of us oh yeah cold that's that's pretty standard you love to see it i think i'm gonna stay down in the south like i mentioned at the start at the end of the last episode see what i can find maybe go destroy this maybe see what's out here hopefully we have better outcomes than going like into the wilderness all the way out here because that was an absolute bust it would be nice to get one of the city states on our side just in the off chance that the Holy War kicks off. And I might side with the South because we don't really like the noble house as much. But I'll uh, I'll come to make that decision at some point. I don't think we'll see the next late game crisis in this episode. But hey, it might happen near the end. I guess we'll see. Okay, well, let's have what you would call a nice relaxed start with a uh, arena fight. I say relaxed start. I feel kind of bad for these guys. This. If this was coming towards me, I'd be like, are those actual just bears with weapons? And some would agree yes they are just bears with weapons except this madman who just has a nice hat but you'll never see it he'll never show it to you unless you try and whip it off him apparently but i don't think he'll he'll probably take offense to that quite a bit what's the chance 31 Ugh. i don't think that really did any damage to the shield i don't think that did damage to him as did that How are you feeling, Whipman? Yeah, he's not feeling too great about it, understandably. God, they really do like to hit him in the head at the moment, don't they? That shield's gonna go eventually, bro. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. You're gonna be... Sorry. Hello. Not feeling so good about whipping him in the face now, are you? Oh. <laughs> I guess he will get slightly one of the last laughs. Eric, do you want to, like, punch him to death? Hey, you punched him in the head. We didn't need to do that. You punched him in the body like a good box of woods. He would have dropped like a sack of shit. But it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The important thing is, you absolutely decimated them. And I think the three of you are actually kind of close to... What? So we got two fights. Two fights. Okay, not that close. And then Lysandra's got four fights. So actually, if we do the next one... With Lysandra in it, she will then get the next perk upgrade. Uh, let's see what else is going on at Mukhtarin currently. What's going on with this? Hunt the Dead, three and a half grand. I don't really know if I'm feeling fighting embalmed today. I don't really know how they've been changed in the updates. Uh, 7,500? Sorry, what? That's definitely like Ifrit's or something. Hmm. Also, sort of like an enemy that isn't really worth fighting. There's no like positive gain from fighting Ifrits, you know? Not really. I think I might just go to that uh, big tent encampment then and see what they've got kicking up up there. Have you got any tools? Oh, yes, you do. I probably need quite a lot. You know what? Let me buy like... Let me buy like a, a hundred. That should do me. Is there anything fun here? No. Is there anything fun here? No. How about here? See, we don't even have a gun. That's weird. Oh, let me buy some... I just realized I need to buy some... Oh, you don't have any. I'm just going to buy some... Some oh, other time. I, I think I realized that Hasselhoff does not have any crossbow ammo. No, he really doesn't. So he has one in the chamber and that's it. Right, well, let's get up to the shelter in between rocks. Not that I can see any rocks. And see what trouble we can cause up there. And then by the time we come back from that, there should be another arena fight. Muktarin, Muktarin, Muktarin. So, yeah, cold. Hmm. See how it goes. Unfortunately, arena fights don't go towards your renown with a city-state that where the arena lives. Kind of wish it did, though, you know? They'd be like, oh, they're the famous gladiators. We like them. Guess not. Okay, 15. Whilst there's only 15 of them, I just want to make a note that this fight is absolutely stacked on their side. They've got three leaders. They've got a Desert Stalker. They've got a Blade Dancer. They've got a Executioner. Like, mate, what is in this camp that's so worth protecting? I would like to find out. And you're running straight towards me. I actually prefer that. I don't like what you're doing, though. Bloody fire. 
Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, let's just go with that for our range at the moment. Let's see if I can just wipe like that. That's a good start. Especially if the Blade Master wants to get a little bit scared of it. I'm into that. Every day. Yeah, pull back. Do your thing. All right. Bolandrin's going to tell you how to do it. He's going to show you how to work it. Unfortunately, Elias is going to miss quite a lot of 71%, but you know what? Don't worry about it. It's all right. We could probably handle it. A little bit worried about the Nomad ex ex Executioner. Can't even say Executioner at the moment, apparently. Ooh. Oh, Kimbo would have liked that spear. And I'm sad again. Okay, well, let's carry on, shall we? Hold that thought. 50-50, oh, damn. I'm not talking about TV show either. That's a UK reference. Bloody. Right. Kind of got an idea for over there. That's not great. Get out of fear. Fire. I know what I said. Repost up. Captain, please. I mean, it was only 35%. This guy is holding the line. God damn. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but fine. Get ready for right between the eyes. Uh, Rex, down here, please. Slappy here. Can you get there and still whip? I guess. What are you doing, Desert Stalker? Nothing yet? Okay, nothing yet. I wish you could repost sand, but I guess you can't. For shame. Okay, that was his entire moves. Oh, no. No, you got another move, which I didn't expect you to get. But, okay. Sorry, what chance was that? 32 and you... Mm. Bruh. Oh, let's be fair to go. She's rolled a four, so I guess I can't say much. Man, that Blade Dancer's got a high chance to hit. High chance to hit. It's a teeny bit of damage. AE, AE, AE. Don't stop. Just don't stop. Just keep going. Until he is very dead. Damage output time, baby. Right, okay, let's go. The fact that they've got three leaders. And an executioner. No longer an executioner. You love to see it. Ah, you don't love to see that. Mm, better, slightly better, come on. Right, running. Perfect. Hop in. I mean, he's going to get seen off. He's going to get seen off. Don't worry about it. Hold that fort. Everyone's just casually walking over, giving him a stab, and walking to the next person. How cute. Right. Switch, because I'm a little bit worried about Eric, to be honest. Mainly because of this blade dancer nonsery. Let me see if I can fix that. Right, he's going to bleed out. I mean, if Dutch just let him, he would have bled out. Right, shield up. Oh, you are bleeding a bit. You're in the ground, mate. God, look at As it seeps. Seeps. Out. Oi. Less fire. Oh, wow. 16. Don't mind if I do, mate. Oh, no. I don't like that. I don't like that. 65... 53. 53! Damn! You little pisses are really hard to hit sometimes, you know that. These trees that don't care about him. Right, move up. Okay, at least he wastes his turn. Corvo, go get him. Try and handle the rest. Oh, wait, you hit that guy. That's clutch. Have you wasted your entire turn? You have now. Can I nick your weapon? Please, sir. Thank you. Great blocking and... Oh, hi. How's it going? I'll be your host. And I'm going to absolutely murder you. Maybe. We'll see. Right, hold that thought for a second, because AA runs come in. Out of... So there's Mufawa's... Metar... 
and Aaron. I mean, not to single him out, but... You know. <laughs> okay, well, you almost killed A.A. Ron with your pickaxe. Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> well, sometimes it does. Woo! 50. 50. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Are you reposting or any of that crap? You're not. You're definitely not. 78. Well, Meta the Blight, meet Lysandra the Blight. To be fair to these guys, at least they're not running, you know? I've got to give them some credit. But there is still what? Lead Nomad Leader, Desert Stalker, Blade Dancer, Nomad Leader. And then there's just some guy in the fort, just some guy in the desert somewhere, which I don't think we have to worry about anymore. He ain't coming back. But I'm having to guess, I'm assuming you're also running away. Ooh. Nice one, Elmer. Although pushing him onto Boris might not be the best idea, but you know what? I'll take it. Drisk? Drisk almost killed A.A. Ron, but I think Big Harry Beast is gonna put the final nail in the coffin. Can you steal that? He's too far away. You can scare him, at least. Oh, yeah, go for the ghost. Yeah, go for it. I will hit you eventually. I guarantee that. Yurton! Nice one. Boris! Oh, Sad. Linus? No, no, the heads, Linus. The head, Linus. Go for the heads. You too, Lysandra. Go for the eyes. Oh, it didn't happen. It's like a motto thing now, and it didn't happen. That's very... That's a shame. Oh, well. Horrible. Man, this guy is not... He doesn't want to die. Doesn't want to die. I would like to get this guy as well, but we'll see. Oh, Schmidt's going to grab him. Very good. So you can lock him down at least. God, someone will eventually get through the armor. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. As so this guy, we've now caught him at least, so that's decent. So we should be able to do something about that. So really, it's the Blade Dancer to worry about, because I think this other guy's cheesed it. Hey! Not cool, yo. Uh, seal deal. Oh, God, all right. Oh, the kill, maybe? But I'm all here for it, I guess. Can you get there and fire? Right, at least leave him with a scar, you know? If he's gonna run away, at least give him something. You know... You know that we can still... Idiots. You know we're still there, right? I'm gonna rotate my way out of here. Yeah, nice try. What the... Why did the... Why did the ghost just attack Drisk? They use Whale and misses Blade Dancer, and it hits... It can... What, it's like a ranged attack? It can hit other people around... When did that become a thing? When... Was that always a thing? Am I misremembering how the ghost works? That's well weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna be wa wary of using that ghost, then. How bizarre. Can you just hop in there, please? This guy is causing so many tr So much trouble. So much trouble for one guy. Well, Hursty's going to put him in the ground, so there you go. You can go for the eyes next time, Lysandra. An attempt was made. A better attempt will need to be made next time. Desert? Stalker. Stalk that. Okay, well, he's hemorrhaging now, so he's probably going to... If he's going to get away, he's not doing anything else for the rest of his life. At least. I think you permanently damaged him. No, no, no. I would like his bow. I was literally, I was literally about to go, is he actually going to get away? But he's, he's doing, like, a last stand thing, which I, I guess I can respect slightly, but uh, someone put him in the ground already. Like, we're, we're, we're done here. That was a bit touch and go, but we managed to get through it not too badly, I guess. Go ahead to obliterate anyone. There it is. Good job. Good job, Schmidt, for holding him down. Did anyone level up? I feel like people deserve to level up from that one, because that was wild. Uh, we got quite a lot of crowns, so not bad. Uh, we did get the war bow. We got loads of big sh scimitars. I think the issue that I'm pulling from here is that even though there were a lot of people in that, including, like, loads of high-end people, 
there wasn't really anything famed, which I'm kind of surprised at. Say that there was, what, three Nomad cha uh, three nomad Leaders, a Nomad Executioner, a Desert Stalker, and, like, something else? Oh, well, whatever. I mean, I can utilize this stuff at least. Plus, the money doesn't hurt, you know? Let's get back to Mokhtarin. Let's get repaired. Let's see. Uh, it'll be the next day by the time we kind of get there and settled. And then we can look at the next arena fight. Along the road, Rex comes to you, rubbing the back of their neck and nervously pulling on their shirt front. Rex proposes a plan to go into town with a handful of goods to peddle around, as they've done so in the past. Only problem is that Rex doesn't yet have the goods. Those will need to be bought from some local in the nearby hinterlands. All Rex needs now is a bit of money to get started and help purchase the goods. Some of 500 crowns all in all. Naturally, as a partner, you'll get a cut of the profits once it's all said and done. You know what, Rex? I'm going to trust you. Don't... You know, go make a profit. You've done some good stuff for us as my tax man. Count me in. You hand Rex the crowns and send them off. A few hours later, the peddler comes running up with a small lockbox in hand. The wily grin on Rex's face is undeniable, unwittingly fist-pumping while gliding to you. When Rex tries to speak, he is seized by gasps of breath. You hold your hand out, time Rex to take their time, settling down. The mercenary hands over a heavy purse of coins, stating that it is your cut of the profits. Before you can even say anything, the peddler wheels on their heels and jumps away, giddy with success. Oh, he's euphoric and he's got one resolve. Good for you, buddy. And you also made me some money. Good for you. So what's that? Defeat another group in mercenaries. Oh, win five fights in the arena. Done. We're already technically doing that right now. Well, I guess I know what we're doing for a bit, eh? 2,000 crowns for four snakes? How bad could it be, really? Other than if they grab Bolendrin and bring him into melee and then eat him alive? But let's not think about possibilities when it hasn't happened yet, eh? That only might happen. Especially if he continues to... There we go, that's better. Eyes up, Bolendrin. They have some long-ass tails that we have to contend with. I mean, that's fine. Do your thing, buddy boy. Do your thing. All right, never mind. Oh, Eric, come on, bro. You can do it. Don't get down in the dumps because you're surrounded by some snakes, some danger noodles. See? We've got your back, mostly. Mostly. There it is. Oh, but it's all neck. <laughs> come on, you can't miss the neck. It's all neck. It's, mm, okay. It's all right, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. I'll take that. Lissandra's now an arena fighter, so she has got five under her belt. So that's a bit more resolve for her. We've almost got to 50 resolve. I'm so impressed. Uh, you're a little bit injured. What have you got? Three matches. How are you doing? Four matches. So I'll take Bolendrin into the next one. I need to sell some of this shit. And then we'll get some other people we haven't seen into the next one as well. That'll be good. Let me sell all this stuff in the interim. Oh, they're frenzied. Okay, let's see how this goes. I imagine they're all going to go for Bolendrin because, well, you know how the AI works in this game. Just saying. Let's see how Sky Splitter does. Our, our new uh, orc like friend. Let's hope he doesn't get obliterated. Here's hoping. Don't get obliterated. Obliterate them. Be the obliterator. Alright? Good dodge. I'm not having that. That's not, that's not acceptable. Well, that wasn't bad. That could have been worse. Right, you want to try that bullshit again? No. Bo? Okay, it's gone. I don't think it has freedom of movement either. Nice. Skies? What's up? Split sky. Good job. See, honestly, Bo Lendron is the one you want to look out for. He's the scary one, really. He's basically got a machine gun, honestly. Right, okay. Bolendron is now an arena champion, so good for you. You're 42 resolve. Jesus Christ, Jacob got to level 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, which is great. I'm not taking a plus one for melee defense, though. I'm sorry. I'll take a plus four for uh, the old fatigue. Um, and I guess I'll take some health, because why not? Let's see if we've got anything to do with spears. If not, I'll see if we've got anything to do with defense. And then we'll get right back into the next arena fight. There's a lot of events going on at Muktahin, and I'm actually all here for it, because I'm probably not really going to do a camp event this episode since we've got our full max amount, and we've sort of gone all over their stories. <laughs> because my voice is still recovering from one of them. While well, walking the streets of Muktahin, you come upon a crowd standing around a hanged man. He must have been of some notoriety. The folks are muscling one another to try and get a turn to cut the toe or finger off as a sort of hanging heirloom. 
Ugh. An old man is quickly elbowed out of the mob. He turns to you, voice raspy, his bony fingers tented like sickly ribs. Ah, sellsword, are you? Of course, I can smell your business, the purchase you have made. Say, would you do a bit of work for me? I need a number of that dead man's fingers and toes. It's for my work, you see. I'll give you 500 coins in return for it. You ask why he needs that particular man's appendages? The crooning, shoulder-cowed man laughs. A heckle, if there ever was one. Aye, good question. The man earned his walk to the hangman's noose with a penchant for violence, unerring strength to see his desires through. The toes and fingers of a simpleton won't do. I need a man of unchanged cruelty, and the only one I see right now is swinging by that there rope. So what say ye? 500 crimes, remember? All right, Corvo, you're up. Our thief Corvo seems to have an idea. Hell, this'll be easy. He goes off to the crowd and you lose sight of him in an instant. The old man chews on his gums for a while before raising his voice. This fella, he is one to trust. Before he can answer, Corvo emerges from behind the old man's shoulder and drops a bloody bandage into his palms. The creepy man unwraps the linens to discover freshly strewn extremities. The thief smugly smiles. Any thief worth his salt learns to pickpocket for anything else. I usually go after the keys instead of toes, but a job is a job. Also, pick some other things of interest here and there. Take a look. Okay, gained 500 crowns, great. You got four initiative, which is amazing for your sort of character. You got eager, and our moral reputation increased slightly. Good job, man. Corvo. Corvo and Rex, they are absolutely loving their time in Mukhtarin. Goddamn right they are. Where's Corvo? There you go. Has used his unique talents to great success. I would definitely call that a great success. Okay, cool. Good job. 112 on the way. Right, well, I've got to wait till the next day for the next arena event anyway, so let me just fast forward. Okay, now that Bo is done, let's get Elias in for a bit now. So we've still got some back-ended help. And also, and also Slappy, I want to see you hit level 11 today. And I, I do think it could happen. And we're going to make it happen. Don't worry, buddy. Well, maybe not with that start, but Elias is he's getting there. He's getting there, don't worry. He's waking up. He just realized he's, fight, he's got to fight for his life. Oh. Hmm. Not where I saw that going, but okay. Give me a second to figure this out. Eh, he stabbed him a bit. Oh, can you imagine if he just did it? That'd be great. No. Bad. Anyway, good. Back in. Oh, you stunned the boy. That's not on. Alright. Keep stabbing him, don't worry. You'll get him eventually. He won't get you, apparently, though. Elias? I mean, Elias got a melee kill. I can only be happy with that. Please stop stunning my friends. Okay, Elias? Pull the bow back out. Good job. You get there and fire. <laughs> Hell yeah, you can. All right, good job. All right, you're dazed. Hold that for. Let Jacob come in to give you a bit of assistance. Now, Slappy, seal the deal. Yeah, okay, fine, dude. It's all right. It's all right. We can handle it. Don't worry. You can seal the deal next time. Don't get stunned. Okay, you'll get dazed. Seal the deal. Screw it. All right, he's dead anyway. He's still got. He's still got some experience. That's fine enough. Not as much as I would have liked, but it's okay. I think maybe you've got about a thousand XP to get before your potential thing pops off, as it were. Uh, 1,500. Well, just under 1,500. Okay, cool. Let's keep rolling the dice. Okay, there's not really much going on right now. I did decide to shove basically everyone in training for the night. Keep all leveled up, which is very good. Let's get that up. Let's get your uh, range defense up a little bit, just in case. Also, your fatigue's not being great. Anything that's good on the whip side. Technically, that is a cleaver. Correctly? Correctly. Attacks do more damage or less armor with a target. Done. That is, yeah, that might as well just be a whip one. Like, if, they, if they're showing their skin, that's going to hit and that's going to hurt. Okay, whilst I was camping as well, I did make a Hexen Trophy, which is quite good. I'll probably give it to, I'll probably give it to yourself right now because you're about to go in. Although, woof, we might need to look at your resolve at some point. Jesus Christ. Here you go, buddy. You probably look... God, you look insane. In a good way, don't worry. In a good way. Okay, four hyenas. The whole surround bonus doesn't make me super happy to be here, but at least we can pull back slightly and make them walk a bit, you know? Walk a bit, waste their... Let's pull back one more. Waste your AP slightly. Although they do get, what, strength in numbers and the overwhelmers? Quite a bit. 
So that's going to be the pressure point, you could say. And I would say. Okay, Rogar's not being overwhelmed, as it were. Good stun by Wayne. Maybe needs to be overwhelmed when you're going to miss anyway, eh? Okay, that's a bit better. Keep up the shield, Linus. You can hold those three off. Okay, that's not working. Come on. Man, you were getting really unlucky, buddy. That was not good. That was. Okay, Wayne's in on it. Shield up. Okay, it's so a 20% chance. Good. Keep it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Good job. Right, Rogar, sidle in. Give that one a good smack. There goes his entire... I was going to say close. I mean fur. You know what I mean. Linus, you're out of juice, so... Actually, you know what? Don't do anything. Don't do a damn thing. Get your energy back. I think you should still... As long as you don't get hit by every single 30%, you should be okay. All right. Win. In you go, buddy. But you still have the fatigue to... Uh... <sighs> okay, survive this round. You should be fine. This is rougher than I was expecting, honestly. Ah, man. 30s. I guess they, they, you know, they would hit eventually. All right, cool. All right, not cool. Last call. God, now we're going for Wayne. They're like, the ugly one, get him. That's rude. Oh, damn, man. Go on, Linus. He got some revenge at the end of the day. Good job, boys. That was a little bit rough, but it's all right. We got a split gladiator helm. Let me have a quick gander at that. Yes, I will. So what do I get for that? 130 and minus six. I mean, that's pretty good. Like, uh, you'll notice that Linus has also got one of the uh, like immortal face masks, which I pulled from that camp. I mean, I might as well just collect him now for a collector's item. I think you'll find. What's the one on there? Minus 10, 145. Minus 630. I don't have a gold vibe. Also, as well, gold doesn't really go with our, like, company colors. I guess that's my only, like, thing that I would say. Although, to fully cover Wayne's face, I think would only be a good thing for the company. So, uh... And also, he gets more armor. He gets more head armor. And all you get to see is his nose. Look at that. It's a win-win for everyone. There you go. Done. It's funny how you just see his nose. Right, anyway, that's 5 out of 5. Or is that 4 out of 5? Let me just wait for it to reset. Let me grab some food so we don't run out and everyone cries at midday. Is it going to uptick to 5 or is that 4? That was 4. Okay, one more is, I guess. But before I do that, what was that? Um, There was another contract that appeared. Where is it going? Barbarish. 1,500 crowns is not bad. How far is Barbarish? It's a bit of a walk. Okay. I am going to camp on tomorrow. I'm going to do one more arena fight to hit this ambition. And maybe we can see if anyone can get pushed up one more time over, as it were. I mean, there's a lot of stuff happening here. While camping besides the road, I mean, we're in Muktarin, but okay. A call for wagon trundles on with a sort of clanking, jingling musical immodesty. You didn't think it would take you a big cart, but about 15 men and women inexplicably pour out of its back. Painted faces, musical instruments, juggling balls, long swords swallowing, wine jugs of fire breathing. The troop of entertainers fan out and demonstrate many talent shows, as though you'd already paid for their services. When they finish, they clap, stomp their feet, and breeze before you, hands out, smiles across their faces. A white-faced mime ironically speaks. Or say, travellers, care for a show? A mere 1,080 crowns to entertain you all evening. I mean, to be fair, normally I wouldn't do this, but we're upstanding citizens, so I'm not going to rob them, you know. Plus, I don't want to get accidentally injured if that happens. And I feel like, you know, the boys and girls of the Scrotums deserve some relaxation, you know. Sure, we'll pay for a show. You pay for a show, which the troop puts on quite well. The jesters crack out some jokes, the jugglers juggle, which is sort of old hat, but whatever. Singers sing, swords get swallowed, fire breathed. Breathed, breathed. And the mime, well, he's got awful and you actually hope he dies. When it's all said and done, you do feel like you've got your money's worth, and the men are happy. Good. Everyone's happy. Everyone's entertained. Book Tarhin's been a pretty good adventure. I don't think anyone would be able to disagree with that. Okay, this one could get interesting, because there is a blade dancer, which is why I brought in Big Hairy Beast to actually blast him into the next... I was going to say Dimension, but he just missed the Nomad Outlaw for that, so uh, let's not maybe sound too cocky just yet, because it might not play to our strengths. 
They probably won't at this rate. Oh, making him confident, are you? That's kind of not on, but okay, fine. Alright, well, that's a miss at least. I love it when we whip people, but when they whip us, it's not on. It's not on, game. Good dodge. Although, the whole being overwhelmed is not ideal. No, it really ain't. He's not dead, but he's pretty close. I'm sure he's just going to jump right in, yeah? Uh, San, bro, chill out. At least the whip's not doing that much. That kind of is. Back off, bro. See ya. How you doing, Hursty? Are you okay? Are you okay, Hursty? Hursty, are you okay? He's okay. For now. Every time with the cleaver getting stolen. Kind of a joke at this point, isn't it? That's unfortunate. Hey, you hit him. You did hit him. Right, try and scare the guy. He's not really getting that scared, is he? Oh, mate. Beastie boy. What are you doing? Come on. Wake up, boy. That's not doing much better, honestly. Stay out of his range. Try and make him come out. We, had, we do have a limited time, you know. It's when Eric runs out of blood, so... Thank you, you finally hit him. As did you. Right, smack him. Twat him. Do whatever you can. This is a bit of a weird fight, isn't it? Oh, I should have I should have kept him where he was, but never mind. Come on, take it in pride. Or stride. You shot him in the head! Great dodging. Right. Reorientate. Come back this way. Make him work for it. Get rid of his confidence. Get that sand out of my face, you son of a bitch. Great dodge. I mean, Harry Beast is just going to take it, I guess. Oh my god, and the Blade Dancer will take it right back. Alright, you woke up. Thank you for waking up. Hursty! He's okay. Eric? Eric is also okay. A little bit banged up, but they'll survive. That was some swift maneuvering against the Blade Dancer, if I don't say so myself. And ambition? My name is Pop Off. There we go. Having dispatched all manner of creatures that walk on two legs or more, and sometimes perhaps not at all, you've come to collect a fair bit of renown for your gladiatorial prowess. Summoners speak your name as though itself was the carrier of good news, vicariously relishing in your victories and hoping to see you win more. It is not a spin of fate, as most attendee arenas see gladiators find as grisly a demise as possible. To have the masses cheer for you is a strange realization indeed, but you just realize that when it is you in that light, your very presence filling the stands and banisters, the very still an ugly end the crowd seeks, that of your opponent, and frankly, for that much coin, you've no problem satiating the audience's blood lust. Well, they'll be chanting our names all the way till the end. I mean, everyone's, everyone must have loved being here. So what's this? 12 items crafted from beasts. We might technically already do that. Well, beast fights, goblins. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab this contract. We're gonna go back up to Barbarouge. I think we've had a lovely time at Mukhtarin. Thanks for having us. And now we're gonna go up there and see what's been cracking whilst we've been gone. If there was like a gun here, I'd probably just randomly buy it. Um, just so we have one. And just so one person could use one. But there still isn't. So let's grab all these tools. We're on over 40k, which is mental anyway. Uh, we're pretty good for stuff in general. Let's get trucking. Let's go. Well, as I was going up, I did see like a small group of nomads, which I was like, I might as well just go and kill them. I mean, I might as well. Like, I'm just going to get some stuff out of it. There's not an insane amount of stuff. I did see there was a nomad leader, though, unless it is hiding just slightly off the camera. I guess we'll find out in a second. Are you going to charge us? Or are you just going to wait? There is a desert stalker. That's just an archer. I was about to say, then he, then he just shoots me in the head, and I was like, eh, he's a pretty good archer. Fair play to him. But uh, he missed, so uh, let's just get behind the sensors up so they have a less chance of hitting us. Just gonna stand there, is it? That's what you get for just standing there. Just saying. Ah, oh, I still need to get you ammo. Oh, who are you? I'm in the Scorpion. Okay. 12%, 13%, 5%. 
I mean, you had one in the chamber and you fired it correctly, David. Good job, buddy. And it was a perfect shot. Nice shot, Elmer. Good job. Whittle them down slowly but surely. Come on, you've got to charge this now. We're basically just walking on you. And one of you is absolutely down. One of you might be absolutely down even sooner than that. Guess we'll see. Come on. Come on. We're basically right eye to eye. Give me the respect of fighting me, at least. And I'll give you the respect of fighting you. Okay. Beast. Can you move slightly and fire? I'm warning you guys, if you don't start moving in, you're gonna get, you're gonna get killed at ranged. Nobody wants to get killed at ranged. Not a single person. Uh, Elmer, get a little bit closer. B3. Why not? Why not indeed? Look at that. God damn, good job. Alright, get everyone angry, because these guys are taking the piss now. Alright then. Well, I guess I'm probably going to start thinking about going in there, because I can't really wait this long. Come on. Go! Alright, everybody, dive in. And go nuts. What does this damage actually do? 2% damage inflicted, 24% chance to retaliate. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Blast them. Well, it's some damage. Right, get there. Just surround them in every which way you can. They didn't give us the respect of giving us a good fight. So I'm going to I'm going to obliterate them now. Probably, as long as they don't miss massively. That's a chance of five. Let's hold off on that. Let's not get too hasty with that ability, eh? Yoink. Not quite. Wah, wah, wah. None of those are close. Well, you're getting hit, Sky Splitter, but you're retaliating. So you are actually doing damage without even having to think about it. So that's kind of nice. Big Harry Beast will get another shot in. Elmer will try. It's all right, you got killed anyway, so don't worry about it. Uh, can you get in... Hold that for, actually. Sky Splitter. Again. Yeah, you cut, him in. you cut into him pretty well. Good old stun from Mad Jack. It's been a while since I've actually seen you. Right. Desert Stalker's gonna have problems. God, I didn't mean I didn't mean to actually then just destroy his entire life right there and then. Just saying. Right between the eyes, let's go. Oh, it just doesn't happen anymore. It happened that one time and it was the best thing I've ever seen. Now it just doesn't happen anymore. He was I mean he was stunned, man. He wasn't going anywhere. Just saying. He was gonna die. Like Bonk. Stay angry, kids. Yeah, that's one way of doing it. That's for sure. Alright, I'm in. Time to show you how a real mercenary company does it. For the people. Power of. Tuva. And four. Well, Rogar just decapitated him, so uh, unfortunately he didn't get the kill. But you did some damage. I thought you might have, you know, done it, but it's okay. It's all right. Are any of them almost dead? Correct. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, Slappy just got a double kill. Like, I think we're on the way now. Grisk? To be fair, if, I, if you guys have got daggers, you might as well just dagger him down. We'll see, if, we'll see what I've got. I feel like you probably guys do. Unless, you know what, I'll, I'll accept a between the eyes if you don't. Thank you. There it is. God damn, I love that move. Okay, did anyone level up? No. But I think it's getting only 200 XP, really. That's a bit disappointing. Well, I'll take all this stuff and sell it. You've got to be like under a thousand now, right? I just want to see that. It's going to... At this point, it's just going to fail, isn't it? Okay, a thousand to go. Let's get this thing delivered to Barbarish and then see what other fun we can find today. I might like ping back. I might see what's like in this. That could be good. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, not an insane amount going on at Barbreach. Actually, let me just check the Fletcher. I didn't go there. Mmm, nothing fame. But, let me just grab that very, very, very quickly. Because otherwise, Hasselhoff will get really annoyed. There you go, buddy. You can finally shoot. Good for you. Okay, so not very much going on at Barbreach. I have taken a quick contract to go to Dornan to kill the Marauding Greenskins around there. Mainly because we can go do this deal with them, because it's a noble contract, hand it in at Dornan, and then we can go and discover what is in this mess with the hopes of finding at least something fame today, because that'd be nice, you know? I think the scrotums deserve it.
And it's bloody goblins. Right, can I outrange them? Well, I guess let me just move the line around a bit. Let's, uh, let's prepare. That's a lot of green. Look at all those arrows that could be coming this way anytime now. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh boy, everybody just duck and get ready. This could be a bit of a wild start. Okay, I think we got through the arrow onslaught of the first round. That's something. Are these guys actually going to come in? Oh, they are a little bit. Not loads, but a little bit. These guys are kind of unsure of what they're doing in their lives. I was kind of hoping for maybe a goblin champion. Or was I? Because the last one was an absolute straight-up asshole. So maybe not. Right. Power up the range defense, please. We're going to need it. Oh, uh, so there's, got, there's an overseer. That's one. 40%. That's not great. Bolendrin. There's two. Right. That's one. That's almost two. Elias, can you help for 19%. 55. 55. 55. Whew. That was rough. That was really rough. Okay. Elmer? Yeah, don't worry about it. The carry beast? I think I need to get you, like... Maybe here? Eesh. Eesh. Game. Okay. Shield up. Just slowly, slowly, slowly move. I mean, now it's five. Don't worry about it, David. You might get you might get there. You also might not. We'll see. We'll see, buddy. If we can go up by one line, we can at least start absolutely popping off. Follow up. Get ready. Shield up. Go. Captain, pop in. The sooner we get rocked, locked and loaded, the better. I mean, they're certainly thinking about, like, stuff. But they're not really doing much with it, let's say. What's the Overseer up to? He's probably going to make all his friends really happy over the next, like, 20 minutes. So there's that. Careful, Drisky. I'll literally like the, mo the person who's furthest out at the moment. Just be a little bit wary. Okay, next onslaught of arrows. Here we go. Again. Good block. Keep it up with that. God, there's so many. There's like, what, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? And like, half of them are, are ranged. If you include the overseers as well, which I suppose you should, te you should technically do that. On the plus side, thanks to Miasmic, we are doing all right, because our range defense is currently higher than it usually is. So that's decent. As long as you keep firing around this area, and also aiming at a person who will never get hit by an arrow, or most of the time will get hit by an arrow. Let's not say that out too loud, though. Right, are you going to shoot? No. Good block, Drisk. Fantastic work. Right. Bow. A little bit closer, please. As I said, don't miss 275s. Good job. He's never coming back. Elmer... Ah, 71 rolled 72. Very unfortunate, my friend. Very unfortunate. Right. Sky Splitter. I'm going to do something a bit risky here, but I know you're going to love it. Stand there. Get ready. And then, get angry. Everybody get angry. But don't miss. All right, next barrage. Here it comes. Actually, to be fair, if anything, we're going to move ever so slightly, so a lot of them might not actually fire. I say a lot of them. Another good block for Jacob. Another wide miss there. Bit of a catch to Boris's heads, but it's alright. Alright, I didn't mean, like, keep hitting him. Stop it. I think this round is the round where we do Mondo. We go Mondo full damage. Because we're basically in now. And they've kind of jumped in themselves. So, finally now is the time to rip some goblin scrot. Give him a taste of his own medicine. You'd love to see it. Love to see it. Elmer? Too fair, that was 7%. Sky Splitter? Kill the Greenskins. There it is. Right, you two. Like I say, special mission. Don't get killed. I'll try and cover you as much as we can. Okay, Bill Andrews is going to do the entire thing himself. He's got this. Power up, smack. Not quite. Drisk surround. Not quite. That's better. That's more like it. There's the money shot. Elias? 
almost clearing off. Right, Rogar, now's the time to go in. Uh, Same with you, Linus. Get around that corner, please. David, 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 David. David, 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 David. You'll get there, don't worry. Captain, go down and assist there. Jacob, seal the deal. Seal the deal once again. God damn. These guys are a lot like. Not menacing, but they're a lot like sneakier and slippery than I was planning. I know they're goblins, but man. Harder to uh, track and stop than they used to be. I'll say that much. Come on now. That's more like it. Good job, Corvo. Slappy, can you follow up? Yes, you can. Let's keep going. Whew. It's alright. It's been a while since Helmer's been in actual full melee combat. What are you up to, scumbag? Linus, I see a perfect opportunity right there. And I think you know what I mean. That's not quite pushing him back. That's just firing him off the wolf entirely. But I respect the graft. I do. Grisk has got you back. Good stuff. Elmer, next. 25 is not great, but screw it. I'll take it. Did kind of screw the idea of the elevation, though, unfortunately. This guy is a straight up. I was going to say. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I will get demonetized. Maybe. Probably not, though. But I won't say it. Just get in there. Oh, yeah. Helmer's going to see him off. And that one. Pissed off the wrong person. Just saying. Just saying. Captain, get in there. David, hit something? Eh, you'll do it eventually. You'll do it eventually, you madman. Well, otherwise then, let's go. Bonk. Suffice to say, their time is limited. And the only real problem now is the Overseer. But they are going to try and reorientate slightly. Let's make sure it doesn't work for the best for them. Come on. Let's go. Sky Splitter. 95, 95. I mean, I'll take the 95, please. Thank you very much. Hmm, I would have liked a stun. Never mind, I guess. There's the stun. There's the stab. Oh, the slice. Cuss slice. Real guy, get down there, please. Right, everyone start laying into this goblin overseer. He doesn't deserve to exist. Neither does that one. Next. Okay, no, they're all, they're all definitely running. I don't think I'm going to actually catch as many as I'd like. Or if, if any at this point. We've got the overseer. Well. We've kind of got the overseer, if he wasn't such a dick. Man, though. I'll say it every time. Really souped those bastards up, haven't they? Really souped them up. He's not really running, either. How you doing, buddy? You're a little bit cut up, but you're okay. I'll take that as a big old win. Can you shoot him? Can you shoot him? Don't... Don't shoot, Drisk. I wasn't... Why can I not hit this guy? Holy shit. Right, at least he's stunned again. But wow, wow, wow. Can you imagine if he got that? I mean, he actually almost... He could have hit someone else incorrectly, but still. Get him. Bloody hell. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Schmidt. Thank you very much, Schmidt. Man. Overseers, man. Assholes. All of them. I know that's not really new news, but still. Well, might as well kill the one on the edge. He's going to get away. What about this one? He's going to try and run? <sighs> Fair enough. Whatever. They're gone. A lot of them did, did, did escape, though. Um, I'll take all this stuff. I wasn't really here for that stuff anyway. I was here just to decimate them and get my payday. Thank you very much. Which, by the way, is a pretty good payday. And I'll have my 4,000 crowns. Thank you. 45k. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let me get rid of these bowlers because I don't want anything to do with them. Get rid of these. I'll keep that. I need to figure out what to do with these. Get rid of all this goblin crit. Didn't mean to get rid of that, but it's gone now, so don't worry about it. Can't do anything about it. It's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. I'll keep the bill hook for the time being. 47 grand. 47 grand. Pretty good. Let me get some food. Pools are quite expensive, uh, and I'll keep it at 147. Highest score you can get in snooker. Right then. 
Let's go have a quick deke in the great yonder. What's this? Drive off brigands. Free skull. Where is that? Northeast of Dornham. I mean, I might have a quick deke around, and if there's nothing there, then I guess I could come back and do that. Because it is three skulls, so there is a good chance that it might be a champion there. And it might be like, here-ish? Let's go have a gander. Man, the events just keep on coming today. Big Hairy Beast, once a lumbering lump of belly fat on two legs, has lost a considerable amount of weight since enlisting with the, with the company. No longer does the mere notion of a sparring fight leave them without breath. In fact, they've got more bounce in their step and is showing. A sort of agility you've never seen from them before. Looks like all this walking around has done wonders. Well, they might make a good sellsword, yes. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I was fine with him being a big boy. Great, though. Let's keep uh, looking around, though. I haven't found any, any locations yet, but I barely moved out of Dornan. Okay, so I'm back in Dornan. I have actually gone around a circular, like, area. I'll show you guys in a second. There are a few locations I have spotted, although a lot of them are, like, goblin ones I can't really be bothered with. We did also run out of food, which is why I've come back. God, food here is extortionate. It's a good thing we've now actually got a decent modicum of money, because, wow, you were absolutely blown out of proportion. So, what was... This was... 4 5 a scroll at last hope's end. What was that one? Traveler's Rest. I'm actually going to take this because I found Traveler's Rest and there didn't seem to be that anything there really except a hedge knight. Nothing else special. But I'm imagining by taking this contract, it's going to change who lives there and maybe give, give us something better to kill. Now, if we zoom out now, Traveler's Rest is there. We also had Last Hope's End, which looks a bit whatever. I am going to go look at this, because I know it's a legendary location, so we'll go look at this next episode. And then there's a location here I wasn't sure what was lived in there, and then a goblin location. But I couldn't really be bothered fighting more goblins today. So let's go deal with Traveler's, Traveler's Rest. And then when we're done with that, I didn't even say that properly. Let me go deal with Traveler's Rest. There you go. Cyril. Figus. There you go. Go get into the right motion. Um, and then at the start of next episode, we'll bounce here. And then maybe we'll do like a ziggy zaggy thing. That'd be cool. Just give me some stuff, man. Yeah, that's definitely changed. Oh, shit. That's definitely changed. Um, a leader, a master archer, and now a bandit warlord. I can smell famed items. And maybe death. Oh, and there's also David the Brute. Okay, this is going to become wild, isn't it? I didn't ask for this. Well, I sort of asked for this. Oh, they've got more men than us. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. He he. Shit. Well, make them or break them, kids. We've got to do it. Who is what and where and why? We've got a lot of range. I've got a feeling they're not going to move, are they? Probably not. I'd appreciate it if they did, but they don't need to, technically. They're just going to be dicks about it. And shoot Catherine constantly. Yeah, at least he can take it, kind of. Shouldn't have to, though. It's kind of rude. Come on. Come on, my son. All right, that's that's a good start. Right, this is only a fake chance, but you might hit him in the head. What did I just say? God damn, Elias. What a guy. Fabulous. Fabulous. Good job. Okay. Should've worn a helmet, mate. Just saying. Oh, uh, I've, I've, I've kicked the bee's nest. The beehive, as it were. The bandit hive, anyway. Don't throw that shit. No. Oh. Man, he actually, he just jumped in there. He is pissed. I think we just shot his best friend in the head. Well, he gets to go see him in the afterlife. Good. Bye. That's a lot of armor. A hecton. Well, that's something quite different. David, David, David. I mean, you did hit, but it really just ba it just glanced off. Didn't even touch his health. Not even the, it didn't even touch the sides, mate. Didn't even touch the sides. Okay, well, let's do this and then swing in. Can you get stop him from throwing that javelin? Stop that man from throwing javelins. Specifically, man, that's not a lot. Lucky son of a gun. Stay kind of behind the shields, you know. Just, just kind of, you know. Wow, he's alive. Fair play to this bandit vet. He is holding on for dear life. So we've got Hopold the Citrine. There's another Citrine. I assume that's the guy. He's the... No, I think Marcoma the Viper. There's a lot of people. All right, there's a lot of people. So there's David the Brute. Marcoma the Viper is definitely the Warlord. Look at that shield. Look at those pauldrons. Very cool. Uh, I think Hopold the Citrine is just a... 
a regular brigand leader, but he's got a pretty cool looking weapon. This is the part where he's actually two bandit warlords and I'm now terrified. Ah, shit. I didn't sign up for this. Unless you're going to give me a double payday, which would be like eight grand. That'd be disgusting. What a way to end this episode. Famed items and an eight grand payout. Woo! I'm into it. Back up. Look at Mr. Slim Jim Big Harry Beast. You might have to rename you to... Slightly smaller hairy beast or slightly more athletic hairy beast? Who's to say? Well, he didn't move, and I'm fine with that. I bet he's going to be a right pain in the ass to get through. Noble sword, I bet he's got like mega riposte. His armor's probably going to be bonkers. His shield's probably going to be bonkers. Like, I kind of got to turn his resolve inside out before I even get to him at this point. This isn't nice. Her stuff is mainly made out of fur. Setting that on fire is going to smell awful. Right, quit it. I said quit it. I warned you. I did, didn't I warn you? Did I warn him? I warned him. It's on him. Man, Nate. Is it my turn to shoot back? I mean, I did, technically just did. Bloody hell, they really want Schmidt's head. Don't know what he did to them, but apparently something. Apparently something down down the line. Are you the Master Archer? You're the Master Archer. Right. I'd say you've left me a little bit of a gap, but you haven't really. Alien's getting kind of unlucky. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Yo. Yo. What the f... Why did... Rogar's defense is not that bad. So 45 melee defense, bro. Chill out. What are you doing stabbing him like that, you dick? Eh? Tosser. Yeah, see? See how it is? I see how it is. Man, Elias is not holding back. And he shouldn't, except for that one time, apparently. Right, tell you what, Skysplayer, I've got a job for you. Go kill those guys. Uh, Drisk, can you get in there? Uh... You can indeed. Do you get terrified by just going near her? Oh, that bandit veteran has unfortunately locked you down, buddy boy. Ah, hit him in the head would have been great. For shame. Right. The party has begun. We are here. Oh, he's a squire. That's more, more, more impressive for you, him, man. Right, come up here. Good lord, can we get into the health, please? Please? Apparently not. Jeez Louise, Papa Cheese. Just die. Alright, no, fair enough. Um, hmm. That's more like it. The game really didn't know what has happened then, but you definitely killed that guy. So, good on you. That's not cool. Uh, Schmidt, go help out there. Slappy. I'd say 36 isn't great, but you just stabbed him in the head, so who am I to say anymore? You might be seeing that level up after this after all. If not, I'm just going to stand in camp and make you train until you hit level 11. Stun him. Nice. Good old hit to the head. You love to see it. If you spin in, you will be able to hit. I don't think there's anything you can do right now, unfortunately, Lissandra. Nay. Get yeah, there. Uh, Rex can go up slightly one as well. Schmidt, you find where you are, don't worry. Ah, shit, here he comes. The biggest douche in, douche in the universe. Is he scared? No, he's still, he's still pretty steady. He's still pretty steady. How does it stop setting my people on fire? God damn it. Oh, you'll be sorry. One of these days, right to the moon. Oh, you're just really coming in, aren't you? At least he's a little bit tired and his face fell off. Well, his, his mask fell off. Nice face. It's a different thing. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure you know this. Don't worry. 
Nice one, alien. You'll be thinking twice after that. Probably. Big, big, hairy beast. No, you missed. Do I have to make you fat again? Hmm. I think that ability is actually helping quite a bit, though. Come on. 266 misses. That's unfortunate. That's less unfortunate. Good job. That monk's going to be really annoying, isn't he? Goddamn. Get away. Where is David the Brute? It's like Brute's like alcohol, but not, not Brute. It looks like you shot him in the face, but you didn't, which is still fine. I'm a little bit worried about Mad Jack just being out there by himself, but I'm sure he's got it. Right? You've got this. Right? Maybe. I hit that squire in the head, to be fair. And he didn't get decapitated. I feel like I should be annoyed by that. You know? Good thing you've got loads of armor now, Sky Splitter. Good thing. Come on now. Weck up. Right. You're in there. Good job. Good job. Uh, oh, oh, gee, I mean, gee, Wilkers, in you go. I don't know why I said that. Oh, oh, hello. Just recover for a second. 5%, that sucks. 8%, that sucks. 9%, that sucks. Uh, all of these kind of suck. I don't know. 5, 9, 5. I mean, you might as well shoot in a big kahuna if you're going to probably, maybe, maybe not hit. So, you know. He didn't. That just bounced. Right. Say goodbye, Mr. Squire. Nobody wanted you anyway. That's your inner company. That's why you're in a company of bandits, mate. I'm sorry to say it, but that is the case. Right. To deal with the these rap scallions, the best way to deal with it is going to be with ranged. Uh, Boris, go up there. Protect. I say protect. Go help out. No, you're not going to push him back, I don't think you'll find. Ooh, that is a very, very, very low chance. Right, this group, not worried too much about. We have knocked the wind out of them a bit. But the main guys, although saying that, he's... Don't kill my tax man, bro. I'm very protective of, I'm very protective of him, alright? Oh, impressive. Are you going to do something ridiculous? Okay, he didn't do something ridiculous, but he still stabbed Captain basically in the head. Uh, no, 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 it's the other way around. They shoot. He shoots at you. Remember that. This is still definitely far from over. There is still a chance we might have some problems, and I mean some problems. Ah, oh, close. I forgot I had repost on, to be honest. Yoink? Damn. No yoink today. Oh, he's doing... He's back on his bullshit. That guy is on his... He's back on his bullshit. Right, okay. Nice one, alien. I needed that. I actually really did. Damn, I did not need that, unfortunately. Come on now. Wake up. A little bit worried about Mad Jack. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that Mark Homage is just there. Come on now. Sky Splitter? Hell yeah, buddy. Stun David? It's David. Right, let's not stop pissing around. It's David. Okay? It is. What, do you want to really fight Mad Jack that much? Okay. Okay, didn't put his shield up. He is still a dick, though. I just want to make sure we know that. Even with all those stabs, it barely even went... It barely dented them. It barely even dented them. Same on that one. Jeez. What are these guys, made of metal? I really cut through now. Okay, Captain... Al, be careful. Right, his armor's gone. 
So I'm worried about Rex. I'm worried about Captain. I guess I'm also worried about Mad Jack. This next one is going to be make or break. Rex, you're a lucky son of a bitch. Don't ever let anyone else not tell you that. Because goddamn. This guy should have been hitting you at all accounts. But you do actually have a pretty high melee defense, even without a shield. Which is why I haven't given you a shield. And if you do have duelists down the road one day, I will give you duelists as a perk. Because, poof, the damage output. Oh, are you going to take that? Wait, why do you wait? Should I be concerned that the guy waited? Hmm. Okay, that's good. That's great. Ah, Drisk took a little bit of a smack, but it's okay. It's alright. That monkey needs to get in the bin. And I'll put him there if he doesn't give up in a second. Okay, Hopold is a bit disarmed. God, that's a lot of health. It's a lot of armor, actually, should I say. Right, see you never, bro. Stunned. Not quite. Are you reposting? Tempo, God, Wide Arise, Bulwark, Tempo, Vengeful Spite, Duelist Defense, Repost, Shield Wall, Quick Hands, Philly Weapon. I'm just going to leave him alone for a hot minute. Let me just figure this out. Let me just figure this out. Coming through. Coming through. <laughs> I say, don't don't miss an eighty one, please. That's gonna take a while. You should stab him in the head. Good stuff. Are you punched? Mm. That's rude. Reload. I think that's fine. I think I can live with that. Like, genuinely, I think I can. Okay. 95, 95, 95, 95. Slowly get through it. Same with that. Jeez, so, so much armor. Are you reposting? This is dangerous. Yeah, that was the danger. That was the last danger. Do you want to shoot the monk for 15%? Oh, hope hold? You'll hit something one day. Don't worry, buddy. You'll do it. I believe in you. I don't want to attack him because he's probably going to go absolutely mental in the next attack. Like, I'm still very much worried for Rex. I am. Not ideal. You are so lucky! You cheeky little bastard. Alright, fair enough. I'd say it was the same to him, but he just got absolutely done in there. I say absolutely done in. Not quite absolutely. Ooh, hang on. Chill out for a sec. Right then. Seize this momentum. Momentum? Ruined it. Quote's gone. Destroy them all. There. I said it. Move on. Boom! He's gone, right. Nice one. Rex, I don't even know what you're doing. But you're doing it really well. That's all I've got to say. This guy's lucky. This guy's a bit less lucky. Right, Monk's gotta go. Thank you, Sky Splitter. You ripped him a new one. There goes another two. Hell yeah, buddy. Boris, get in there. This is the part where I throw everyone in and all of a sudden he starts hitting everyone else that isn't Rex. So Rex is suddenly like insane powered. I mean, he's pretty good in terms of defense. That's not a joke. That's just facts, man. Just spitting them. And the way to deal with Markoma then is to range blast him into oblivion. As, as to whether we can do that without anyone dying in the process is a completely different story. Elias, reload, please. What to do next? And what's going to come next? Shit! I bloody told you. Well, at least that one died. So, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, Mrs. Wayne, Chancellor 95, 
rolled 98. So he missed Wayne. So Wayne got really lucky there. But Rogar, chance of 70, chance of 75. He got hit in the head. He hit Rogar in the head twice. Like, I've got nothing to add in that regard. Bash is cold playing the game, unfortunately, buddy. Well, I guess this isn't over just yet. Man, he's still steady. So I can't attack him. Because he'll repost and hurt me. He's still fresh, because he's a massive dickhead. Oh, look at me, I'm a warlord. I can I get like 40 fatigue back every single turn. I'm gonna make it almost impossible for you to kill me. Alright, alright, chill. I can't have too many turns like that. I do actually need to start hitting him. Jesus Christ. Come on now. Right, David's dead. He's stunned, his riposte is down. Lay into him. That doesn't mean miss. I mean lay into him. Oh, how do I teach these kids? Oh man, I hope that arm is not famed, and I hope it's not gonna get destroyed in this process. But I need to kill him. He's already taken down Rogar. Okay, all his clothes are basically falling off. I don't mean to take his clothes off, but that it's happening. Okay? His armor's falling apart. His helmet's falling apart. He's bruised. And he's still happy to be here. Man. Does he got 150 resolve? Probably does. Knowing at least he's still not reposting, so I can attack him safely. Woof. Chill out. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Chill. Everybody chill. We're okay. Everything's fine. Probably. Okay, everything's less fine. Come on. That was another 70 miss. Whoa, right between the eyes. Kicking it off. Let's have a look. So, Sandy is a strike and hits my comma. Chance 83, roll 25. Mail Corp is destroyed. Head is hit for 110 damage. Suffers Gray's neck. But Sandra is going to call Markoma, and then she has killed Markoma. Okay, Rogar's down. Which is not great, but he's not dead. He ain't dead. Yeah, be terrified. And we're going to get some fame stuff out of this, which I hope is worth the injury that Rogar has. But I guess we'll find out. How is David alive? Oh, he's got nine lives. Right then, Mad Jack. I mean, that's one way to take out a guy, isn't it? Okay, Linus leveled up, Mad Jack leveled up, Helma leveled up. Uh, whew. Oh, what are you doing? Level up, Slappy. Level up for me, please. Helma leveled up, yeah. David leveled up. How's it going? Oh, you're missing your hand. He took your hand from you. Oh, me. I'm really sorry. Here we go again. Vibes of Caspian Belmont all over again. I guess let's see what we can do there. Right, so. It's the... Okay, so it's actually the metal part. The fame of Southern Plates, I think, is the fame part. Which is at least a good armor to get, as it were. And then there's also Markoma the Viper's board. I mean, his name was Markoma. So we have literally stolen his fame shield, which he's made famed. Melee defense of 28 and maximum fatigue of minus 11 is great. Sorry, Rogar, but I think that was worth it. Maybe we can get, like, a... Uh guy that can give you a hand not like a joke i mean actually give you a hand oh i don't know if you can hire that background in um i don't know if they count as lowborn but i guess we'll see i haven't seen one and then also because we killed david even though like he was definitely not as bad as like the other guy my comma they have pay, they have doubled our pay so we've got eight and a half grand we have got over 50 grand once again rogar sorry you've lost your hand but it was definitely worth it Okay, let me have a look at what we've got. I could definitely treat him, like, with some better armor. And it's a shame his fatigue hasn't gone up because of the missing hand, because, you know, he's not fatigued by his body anymore. Anyway, uh, let me just sack all that. So what's that? Minus 24 and 219. And it's a two-part. What's that? Man, I give it to you, but I don't think your fatigue can handle it. It can't. You go so far down with fatigue, it probably wouldn't be worth it. You can't even equip a shield anymore. Ugh, that's kind of sad. I mean, it isn't kind of sad, it's really sad. Okay, well, let me just see... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Really? 
Really gonna do me like that? Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see you at the start of the next episode. You know, at the very least, have a scarf. You earned it. I feel really bad. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe, uh, there you go. At least you're gonna be nice and warm and toasty. Still got 23 melee defense, which is terrible. Did they have a fighting axe? Was there a fighting axe? No. Not really. That's a damn shame. Okay. I'll figure it out a bit further down the line. But that's what? Melee defense of 28. So let me have a quick gander. I mean, that's rune, so I'm not going to get rid of that. Uh, where's our other big shield people? What's that? Oh, wow. I do like the protect. It, that color has the same vibe to the rest of him, though, so I don't want to lose that. Maybe we go. So what's that? Minus 15, minus 25, minus 28, minus 17, minus 11. So what's that? 42? That's not bad. What about you, buddy? 54? I mean, Linus has been around here. I mean, I'm, I'm playing like seniority rank here, so let's go here then. Oh, man, look at that. That's pretty good. Um, I don't really care about giving you a plus one or a plus two. Go on, let's actually stack your resolve up a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. You know what? I still haven't seen a single military cleaver. Like, we've been using these scrammer saxes for 130 days. I haven't seen a damn one. Good lord. Rising Star would actually be interesting to take right now, just because it would mean getting to level 16 would actually be faster, which is weird. I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to have to consider that. Hazelhoff, welcome to that level. I'm going to hope that uh, you will start kicking it into high gear soon. I imagine you might. God, I hope so. Uh, let's go Bullseye. That's fine. Hilma, welcome to level 11. God, there's so many other people hitting level 11. Um, <coughs> which aren't the people I wanted to hit level 11. Taking a plus 2 is no point, but I will take a plus 4. Just to, just to knock out, like, the traumatized a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to level up. You know what? Most of these... I'll check the other level ups by, like, the start of the next episode. I'm also going to get everyone to rest and heal because everyone's looking a bit red. And I'm not just talking about the uniform. You are leveling up next episode whether you like it or not. You hear me? Good. Okay. Let's go on with Rogue Hole. Nobody's died. Unfortunately, Rogar has lost his hand. But like I say, we got two famed items out of it. I need to decide who to give the, um the golden plates too, although I'm definitely leaving Linus with Mark on the Viper's board, as it were. Although I suppose Rex does kind of deserve it more so, but I kind of like the extra damage he does. I kind of like the extra damage he does. Do you have Duelist? You do have Duelist. I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to keep you as a Duelist, you know what? Screw it. And get you a tier 3 axe for next episode. That'd be really good. Okay, that's, that's a, that's a good way of looking at things. Um, shame about the foot. Minus 24. Nobody can really handle that. Not right. Well, there's probably going to be a few people who can probably handle that. But I'm going to have to, like, cycle through and figure it out. But, um, like I say, once again, something I'll do with the start of the next episode. Let's go on with a roll call. Everybody survived. Although not everyone's in fully... Well, they're not fully in the piece that they were at the start of this episode. But, hey, better than being dead. Okay, so, Wayne, you are on 40 kills. Rogar, you're on 23 kills. Linus, you're on 58 kills. Rex, you're on 12 kills. Boris, you're on 56 kills. Duchess, you're on 78 kills. Captain, you're on 37 kills. Slappy, you're on 68 kills. One-off Glory. Drisk, you're on 6 kills. Schmidt, you're on 17 kills. Helmet, you're on 63 kills. David, you're here. Jacob, you're on 40 kills. Kimo, you're on 16 kills. Lysandra's on 89. Yurton, you're on 43. Elian, you're on 4. Man Jack, you're on 33. Bolendrin, you're on 97. I think that's still the highest. Miasmic, you're on 14. Corvo, you're on 27. Elmer, you're on 4. Hursty, you're on 28. Eric, you're on 51. Elias, you're on 43. Big Hairy Beast. Or should we just call you Hairy Beast? But I like Big Hairy Beast, even if you're not fat anymore. You're on 41. Sky Splitter, you're on 5. Which is quite an uptick since last time, I must say. Um, also, I'm definitely going to make you the camp cook because it's just funny. Uh, so I think Olendrin is still at the top with 97. I didn't see anyone else with anything higher than that. I think the closest to that was like 89. Yeah, I think 89 
Although everyone else is slowly, well, some people are slowly closing the gap at the very least. But yeah, Bolendrin will continue to be the star of the Scrotums, I guess you could say. Maybe I'll give him a day off or something. Wouldn't that be nice? Also, maybe I'll try this stupid blow down. I probably won't. Anyway, next episode, we'll get everyone recovered. I'll probably go check out some of these locations out here. Since we've got a decent amount of money, I'll get stocked up on food and stuff. We'll get Sky Splitter leveled up, so he's actually like the camp cook, so this gets offset a bit better. And we'll try and find some more famed stuff. But that was a pretty good way of ending it. Good good payday, and also two famed items. Mm, albeit losing a hand. But hey, some people just have to lose hands to get through this process at the end of the day. What are you going to do? Anyway, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more there that you will enjoy. Feel free to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know the next time we're going out with the Scrotums in Battle Rivers or the Northern Missionaries in the Iron Oath. Can't wait till then. Feel free to join the Discord. It is linked in the description below and on the channel itself. Come talk to us. We are a jolly bunch of Northerners. Ciao for now, guys and girls. 